Hey, what's going on fam? It's the Don here. We're still out here at Uchi Creek near Fort Benning, Georgia. Um, today we're going to be getting out a little bit into Columbus, Georgia area. Of course, we got to pick up Peggy's uh, sewing supplies and stuff like that. But also because, uh, like we said, they're doing a lot of improvements and that involves having to clear some trees out and everything like that. And uh, we got a warning yesterday that they're going to be doing a whole lot of wood chipping in our area. You can see all of these uh, down limbs that they cut down yesterday in order to set up for the wood chipper today. And here's the wood chipper right here. And you can see how close it is to our RV. So instead of just sitting in the RV and dealing with all the noise and the flying wood chips, we're going to probably get out and uh, catch a movie. You know, Batman, the Batman comes out today. I don't know if Peggy's up for it, but I think so. She's always been up for a good movie or something. Um, get some supplies, that kind of thing. Just basically make a day out, make a day of it. So, yeah, we're gonna head out and we'll just see you there. All right, fam. Good morning, guys. Hey, what's going on, fam? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. We're going with the Windleys. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, look, it's cold. Donald talking about, oh, it's a nice brisk morning. I'm like, no, ain't nothing brisk about this morning. It's cold. It's a cool, crisp morning. No, it's cold. I had to turn on the heat in the, in the RV. Peggy uh, turned on the fireplace, the heater, and, and the, the propane heat. Yes, I was freezing. I was freezing. <laughs> it was cold this morning because we went to bed with our fans on like we always do. He has a little portable fan. I have a little portable fan. And we're under the covers, so it's warm, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, you get out that bed, and it's like, ooh, you stepped into a blizzard. I mean, it, was, it got to like 80-something yesterday. The, the the temperature differences between night and day is really drastic out here. It's like 50-degree differences. It is because it's been like between 35 and 42 degrees these last few days when you get up in the morning. Yeah. That is cold. That's, that's officially cold. Because <laughs> we've been seeing signs all around saying, you know, winter advisories like bring your water. And I'm like, we're supposed to be in the 80s every day. But I get it. Like, I feel like I need a coat. Yeah. Hat, glove, scarf. I feel like I need all those things. But anyway, like I'm sure Donald told you guys that they are still trimming back some of the trees. Uh, these trees... These trees needed pruning, though, because exactly. it was to the point where they were hanging down to the ground. I noticed that last time we were here, so they needed to prune these trees back a little bit anyway. But it is still a lot of good area, wooded area that they haven't touched. So yeah. that's good. The deer are out in, what do you call it? We still don't know what they call herds. I'm, I'm, I'm know, going but, with herds. But uh, they, they are very... Prevalent yes, right on. now. Wordsmith. Okay. Wordsmith. You know, I'll try that. <laughs> no, but I'm just playing. But anyway, um, I am enjoying myself. This is so good. It's just it's the quietness for me. You know, it, yeah. it is. I wish I knew what the, well, look, the sounds that the RV make at night. It, <laughs> it sounds like somebody's walking up the steps. Yeah. Not even walking up the steps, like you know how somebody put their foot on your step. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounded like. And so we, when we very first RV'd, that happened, mm -hmm. and I was like, Donald, I'm telling you, somebody is walking up our steps. Well, it was a rabbit. It was a rabbit. And so I'm like, <laughs> if I could see a rabbit, my mind would be at ease. But see, Donald, as soon as he put his head on that pillow to rest, he uh -huh. is out. Me, I hear everything. And so last night, I kept hearing the step, and I looked out, and I knew wasn't nothing out there. So I just turned the TV all the way up and ignored it and <laughs> went to sleep. I was just like, that's too much. But anyway, how uh, how is your day? What is going on exciting in your life? Share with us, family. Good morning. Hey, good morning. People out watching, walking their dogs. Oh, man. Can't wait till yeah. me and Jax get out there. But we're just going to spend some time out today. We, like I said, we're going to Columbus, Georgia. Um hit up some crafting supply places probably hit up walmart and we might watch a movie you said you're up to watching uh batman the batman today yeah we watched the batman there you go the batman the batman 
Y'all, I got on two shirts. I got on a jacket. <laughs> like, it's cold out here. But anyway, we will see you when we see you, fam. All right, fam. All right. <laughs> What's going on, fam? Hey, fam. Downtown Columbus. Taking a chance to visit one of our favorite spots. <laughs> the donut shop. The donut shop. The very best donuts. It might be closed. We're a little late. But if so, we'll just hit it back up next time. Okay. Maybe six months ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Quick plan, quick plan. They got all the stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Hey, family. So, I forgot <laughs> where we were. And Donald was like, you don't remember this place? This is the very do very best donut spot. Remember I stood in line for an hour to get those donuts? Well, now I guess the thrill of it is over. So people are not standing in line for hours and hours. So we go there today. They have plenty of donuts out. Plenty. Now their specialties are not there, you know, with the bacon yeah. on it and all that. But bacon don't go on donuts, I don't think. But bacon anyway, goes on everything. bacon goes on everything. That's you true. Put bacon That's true. On, I can't even think of it. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, y'all. So we're sitting here, we're shooting this video right now, and all I can smell is hot, fresh donuts right oh, now. Oh, MG. My stomach is growling. <laughs> I got a permanent grill on my face. We should not be phase. eating this, but... We know it's wrong. We're on vacation. We know it's wrong. <laughs> but if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. So this long john is filled with strawberry. Raspberry. Raspberry jam. I'm going to get this yeast donut right here. Mm. It's too <laughs> sweet. It's too sweet. I can't. Um, I can't. Mm. I'm starting not to like sweets like I used to. I don't know what's going on. But I ain't mad about it. So let me try this. I think it's the jelly. This thing will be sweet. Because mm. it's not Krispy Kreme sweet. I mean, it's still sweet. Don't get me wrong. Mm. Mm. Guys, listen. Seriously. These taste like... We had a little store in town. It was called... Well, in town. We had a little corner store when we grew up. It was called Susie's Market. Susie had the very best yeast donuts like these will remind you of the old style flavors of donuts I, I, I used to love when my mom would go in there and get like a dozen Ooh. <laughs> in the morning oh be so good on a Saturday that was a treat for us mm. this is so good that's all I need to knock that sweet tooth off mm-hmm mm. Well, all right, fam. So we'll get back around and see what else we can find around here before we head back to the RV. But we're probably going to go to the movies first because they probably still work until like 4 o'clock at the RV park. Yeah. So I mean, they're working hard, too. Yeah, they're working hard. So we'll probably catch a movie. And we'll see uh, you guys on the next clip. All right, fam.
Good morning, fam. Hey, what's up, fam? It's at the butt crack of dawn. <laughs> no. It's pretty early, though. And Donald just didn't want me to be great. He's it's like, great. you've been sleeping in since we got here. It's time to go for a little walk. I know he better not be calling Cadence today. I'm going to chop him in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> When the sun comes up, all the birds start singing and talking to their fellow birdies, their fellow aviary companions. Ooh. So we're not going to uh, talk much on this side because it's still early and I don't want Donald to wake up the neighbors. Hey, good morning. How's good morning. Going? So we're going to catch y'all on the other side where there's not many people and we could do a little bit more talking. I left my the skull head at home right because it's cold out here so i found a little head in the rv keep my head warm i got on donald's hoodie she's all bundled three up. shirts jeans socks and was forced to put on tennis shoes today i don't like wearing shoes anyway we'll see you guys Just wanted to share bits of the park that we really never highlight because they don't really fit us as of yet but I just wanted to show you guys just little things like we never really show you the cabins we're gonna to try to get inside a cabin to give you a full view of what a cabin is it won't be this video but maybe the next one because I think they're closed on the weekend the workers here but anyway, I want to show you this dog park. It is really nice. So if you ever want to bring your little puppy, your little fur baby. Let him okay. Run you want, and I mean, it's huge. It looks like you could play football in this field. I'm going to step back a little bit to try to let you see how big that is. That's pretty big. Donald says it looks like it used to be where they would play uh, baseball. I keep saying football, baseball. Please clean up behind your pet. They provide you with the bags and everything. So I think this is pretty awesome. Is this where you have to bring the trash? No, that's a trash can over there by the laundromat. This is just a big one. Oh, okay. So they have dumpster, dumpster sites and everything for you. So that's good. And then there's the old country store across the street there yeah, you can get your firewood your propane your ice your sodas some charcoal all kind of stuff at the country store now there is an event building over there as well we've never seen it open let me see if I can stretch it out a little bit because we're not gonna go that far 
the building with the green top there that's an event building i guess so like you could use it for a banquet yeah or something like that yeah. i don't know and then behind it is the chalets and stuff like that but you have to drive around to get to the chalets and as you can see this guy is getting ready to go out with his boat i guess he's getting ready to do some fishing this is like the third truck we've seen come by Sound like he got some chickens in that boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the marina's at the bottom of that hill. Yeah, the marina's down there. So, yeah, th this place offers a lot. We're going to share even more with you. This place really has a lot to offer campers. I'm telling you, like, you can do paintball and stuff like that out here. So tell me, baby, where would you like to go? Maybe we'll drive from coast to coast. So tired of living life in gray, babe. And you deserve to see the world. So tell me, baby, where would you like to go? Maybe we'll drive from coast to coast. Only to where we love the most. I'm taking you to paradise, paradise. You know where we're going tonight, going tonight. Paradise. Hey, what's going on fam? So behind me is a huge area that is uh, cordoned off from the rest of the RV park here at Uchi Creek. Um, this space is set up for dry docking. Now, I know a lot of Boy Scouts use it for like these little jamborees they be having. But uh, when Peggy and I do our little dry dock rehearsal or boondocking, for those of y'all who don't know what that is, that's just basically not having, not being connected to electricity or water. We just gotta work off of whatever we have in our RV, whether we have a generator or no power or whatever. We got, we got a solar panel on the top, so I think we'll be able to do pretty decent. We just wanna see what it's like to dry dock or boondock, and this be a nice little place to practice. But it's a huge area. Uh, according to the, uh, the RV park map, it says it's a space for 200. I just drove through it. I feel like it's, it's good space for 100 RVs, but hey, they know better than I do. Hey, how's it going fam? As I said in the previous video, another part of the glamorous life is laundry day. And uh, the Don, that's me. I'm in charge of laundry. Well, I wash the clothes and I dry the clothes. I bring the clothes back, but Peggy folds all the clothes. So it's a team effort. Yeah, because I, I hate folding clothes. I've hated folding clothes and rolling up clothes since I was in the military. So she did, she took that part for me. It's a great deal to me. So let me go ahead and show you what it's like.
Hey fam, well the sun is completely up right now, shining right here, but uh, Peggy and I just decided that tonight is the night for the fire pit, so I'm gonna go, I've already, uh, I've already started stacking up the fire the way I think it's gonna go. Take a look at it, let me know what you think. So you see that I got some branches and some pine straw all mixed in with the uh, pieces of firewood that was delivered while we were here. Now, obviously this firewood is too close to the fire pit. I'm gonna move that about 10 feet away before I start the fire. Safety first, people. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be nice. What's going on, fam? Hey, family. Look who's out here by the fire. She I got am out by the fire. <laughs> she got her blanket and everything. Girl, trying not to get bit. That's yeah. what I'm trying. Not she to is do. completely covered in off. You yes. see the off. You see the off over there on the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's covered off. Got long sleeves on. Got her jeans on. Got a blanket. I think she's good. Mm -hmm. But this is good, fam. I feel like the smoke. Want the smoke and stuff keep the bugs away? What do y'all think? I don't know. The very first time we rented an RV, I, I had a fire in the fire pit. Yes. And I loved it. He was hooked from that point. I was hooked from it. We didn't we didn't do marshmallows till we had the girls here at Uchi Creek. Yeah. That was That's the first, true. That was the first time we did the uh the marshmallows and everything. But it's just something about a fire. But anyhow, that's what we do out you here. You see all the mosquitoes right there? What is it? That's a cluster. A cluster of gnats? Uh-uh. Well, it ain't a cluster, but it was like four or five. Oh, okay. They out to get me. They out here. <laughs> they out here. <laughs> they out here. They know I'm out here. They, they know she's out they here. They sense my fear. No. But anyway, <laughs> it, it has just been a nice, relaxing day. Do I need to add more wood to it? If you wanted to keep going. Because all the uh, other wood is ash here. You go over there. Everything burned too fast. You made a good, Donald made a really good fire, fam. It is burning, baby, burning. Baby, burning too fast. I got it on you now. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> What's that popping? Now Donald and put pine cone <laughs> in the fire. They shooting. <laughs> There's only like six of them in there. They keep the sparks going. I'm like, they shooting, they shooting. <laughs> it feels amazing. Don't it feel good out here? It does. Feels really good. It's a little breezy. I don't see any bugs. I, I, I miss the mosquitoes. I don't see them. I don't miss them like I wish they were here, but. <laughs> we ain't gonna even talk them up. <laughs> don't I look like a priest? Hey, what's going on fam so we're about to head in but before i head in i want to tell you a little story i was telling piggy while we was just sitting here by the fire i remember a time when we was i was at fort campbell and we were in the field and you know we're not allowed to start fires in the field but it was freezing that night and somebody started a fire and we look out i peeked out of my tent and somebody was sitting next to a fire looking all comfortable so I grabbed my sleeping bag and went over there <laughs> and it ended up being about nine of us just in the middle of the night, like two in the morning, sitting around the fire with our sleeping bags, feeling way better than we did inside that tent. 
you would think the tent would have kept us warm, but that was that just what, I, what this fire reminded me of today. But anyway, fam, this is a good time to end the video. We really do appreciate it. Ooh, oh, the <laughs> mosquitoes are coming. Toast, toast. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know why they bothering people. <laughs> but anyhow, it's been a good another great day out here in the uh, in these RV streets. We just want to. Uh, Thank you, guys. You got anything for him, babe? I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. I have nothing. Nothing. But anyway, fam, we just want to remind you guys to go out there and do something good for yourself. And for others as well. And for others as well. Y'all take it easy, fam. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. <laughs> <laughs>